Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video and in this video this will be the part 7 of my video series and I will we will continue from where we have we had left okay so guys let's get started so now we need a double down sample ratio okay so now we need a ratio first to calculate sub simple size okay and in here we will have three arguments first one will be rgb image second will be width mobile width and mobile height all right so now we need to create this method so let's create the method and now here what we need to do we need to calculate the sub sample size okay so first of all we need to get the width and height so first of all final int width equals to so let's change it to source okay so we can say source dot width similarly final int height equals to source dot height Right, and now we can say double in sample size equals to one okay so it will be one so now we need to check if height is greater than mobile height or width is greater than mobile mobile width okay so now we need to calculate the ratio so how can we calculate so we can say final double height ratio equals to let's try cast it to double mobile height divided by double height okay similarly final double width ratio equals to double mobile width and double width all right so now we need to choose uh, we need to select the smallest uh, ratio so we can say in sample size was to height ratio less than width ratio height width okay and we will say return in sample size all right so guys we have now this uh, down sample ratio okay so now we need to resize the image okay so how can we resize the image so first of all we can say img proc dot resize and first of all we will have a source mat so in this case we have the source mat as rg rgb image and we will have a destination so we can see sampled image new size okay and down sample ratio down sample ratio and we need image prop dot inter area okay in this way we will have a stretched image okay so now we just need to say now we need to change the orientation of the image okay so we can say exif interface if equals to new exif interface and in here we need to pass the path
and now we can say in orientation equals to exif dot get attribute int and in here we can say exif interface dot tag orientation and we also forgot to write one okay so here we have this io exception so we can say get io exception and we can it and paste it here now we need to use the switch so we can check if switch orientation and in here we can say case first of all the case will be as if interface dot orientation 90 okay so here we can say sampled image equals to sampled image dot t okay and now we need to rotate it so we can say code dot lip and first of all this is still the sampled image sampled image and one okay, and we need to use break so now another case can be as if interface dot orientation rotate to 70 okay similarly we can say sampled image equals to sampled image dot t and core dot flip sample image sample image and zero all right it's now complete okay guys in my next video we will complete the code okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye